One of the most frustrating persons that I've ever come across is Joe Scarborough. Now, I've got a clip here where Joe is talking about uh, gun control, which is a subject which seems to be a big deal for them in the United States just at the moment, and rightfully so, I hasten to add. But in this particular clip, Joe presents an argument that I find quite, quite abhorrent. Now, in my view, my humble view, Joe is an arrogant, self-centered, egotistical individual who's been having, he's got this show that's been running about 15 years or so. Um, he has his wife, his now wife, uh, standing next to him, Mika, and uh, she very rarely has anything to say uh, because Joe takes over the whole business. And it's interesting watching him try and ask, try and ask someone a question. His preamble to uh, asking a question goes on, it seems like, forever. Because at the end of the day, this is just all about Joe. But on this particular clip, they're talking about gun control, which is a major issue in the United States, and rightfully so. More people are dying over there as a result of their obsession with guns than any other country on this planet. And uh, so they bring in, they highlight the issue around guns, of course, and then they talk about the fact that in the UK and in Europe and in Australia and New Zealand, uh, we don't have the problems with guns, far from it, than what they do in the United States, where far more people are being assaulted and killed by guns than anywhere else, and that the number of mass shootings is something like 230 up to this time of the year. So it's massive. We understand that. But the issue for me is that if you're going to do, if you're going to deal with gun drugs, you just do away with guns. This obsession they have around guns is extremely frustrating and is an issue which they need to find the space to deal with. But then you've got idiots, clowns like Joe Scarborough who provide this argument which irritates the shit out of me because it is inaccurate. It adds weight to the issue around everybody should carry a gun. So everybody should carry a gun, providing they're registered and they're responsible and they don't have mental well-being issues and all that sort of shit, which is crap because people who carry guns are simply more likely to shoot people who aren't carrying guns than not. So um, I'm, I'm frustrated because... Uh, I'd expect someone like who that sits on the uh, left of politics, like MSNBC, would be able to make a statement a bit different. But this is the problem. The problem is that people like Joe Scarborough and the millions of people that watch his show think, as a result of what I'm about to show you, that it's okay to have a gun. And this is the problem. So this is what Joe has to say. Get round without any training or without a permit. I always talked about, I got guns. Absolutely. I got guns, guess what else I had? Got training, I got a permit, went through the process, practice at the range. They have idiots now. When you talk to gun owner, I mean, gun shop owners, and they will go like, they'll tell me, this guy just walked in, he's an idiot. No, yep. Joe, the person who's an idiot is you. Because you should be telling people that you should not have to have a gun. You know, um, doesn't mean that if I carry a gun, I am safer. No, you're not. You know, if you carry a gun, what is it? Why is it that you're carrying one in the first place? Who are you afraid of? Are you afraid that someone's going to come through your door and you're going to have to need a gun to shoot them? You know, how often? How often are you invaded by people? What sort of neighbourhood are you living in whereby you find the need to have to carry a gun? Don't you trust the police to be able to help you or defend you? Don't you trust the fact that you can have security in your home, you can have um, cameras, you can have a fence, you can have uh, windows that are protected? What is your problem, man? What area are you living in, such as Joe Scarborough, who probably lives in a... Um, a very exclusive area in the United States. What is your problem? Why do you need to carry a gun? The
the fact that you think of yourself as this responsible individual that has done all the training and everything else that you think might be required <coughs> makes you a better gun owner is just crap. The reality is, man, you shouldn't have a gun in the first place. Not that you're responsible or whatever that means. You should not have a gun. And certainly AR-15s and other stuff, assault rifles should not be available, period, end of story. Everybody's agreeing on that. I think no one does anything about it because it's the United States and you're a fucked country. But basically, <coughs> you should, no one should have access to guns. More people in the United States have guns than any other country. There are more guns available than there are people in the United States. People hoard guns. How crazy is that? Why would you want to? How many guns do you need to have? Obviously a lot. What is it about guns that make you feel so important? Is it a manly thing? Clearly not. People like Bobart and uh, Mary Taylor Greene and others uh, advertise the fact that they have guns. Their kids carry guns. They have Christmas decorations and Christmas cards, photographs of them and the kids carrying guns. What sort of crazy friggin' society are you in where you find the need for your kids to have to carry guns and learn how to use guns? That is bizarre. That is bizarre. We heard Bobert or somebody else the other day saying that their two-year-old kid knew how to carry a gun and use a gun. That is stupid. Look, there's no other way of describing it. As a country, you're fucked. You know, you've got this lunatic standing, uh, this Trump bloke uh, who's... who's standing for presidential candidate next year. The Biden is as slow as hell. You don't know what you should be doing. You don't know whether or not you should have people in power that actually know what they're doing in terms of putting forward progressive ideas that are going to change the way people live their lives. No legislation seems to get passed of any significance in the United States. You are slow, demented individuals. And you need to wake up because at the end of the day, you are permitting people to die unnecessarily. The shooting in Allen on the weekend is the prime example of the type of uh, thought patterns, the type of psychotic behaviour that is being developed in the United States with you know, right-wing propagandists advocating for their so-called sense of freedom and their racist attitudes towards Jewish people, immigrants and African Americans or anybody who looks different to them. I don't know what it's going to take for the United States to wake up to itself. I don't know whether it's going to take some sort of a revolution or whatever it is. But people like Joe Scarborough are spreading the sort of shit that they do and not making a stand for the specific changes that are required um, is, is adding to the problem, not rectifying it. And people like Joe and his ilk need to be called out because the left wing is about as ineffectual as you can imagine in the, U in the US, and as a result, no changes will ever, ever come about. So if you wish to make a comment and let me know, you can contact me on my email address or more importantly to me, I'd like to think you subscribe to my channel so you can get notifications of uh, any other videos that I put out in the future. I do videos on a daily basis and I'm, I'm planning to do one live feed once a week. We'll certainly let you know when that's going to happen. Uh, thanks for being a part of this, everybody. I really appreciate it. Take care, look after yourselves and be safe.